Hey fellow YouTubers, Mr. E here from Mr. E's channel. Today we're going to be doing a RAM upgrade to a 15 inch MacBook Pro unibody. Okay, so the supplies we'll need are a Phillips number 00 screwdriver, PC8500 DDR3 SODIMM RAM chips, and anti static wristband. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll pop off the little battery plate here. Okay. And as you can see on the back of the plate, there's a diagram showing you how to remove the battery, the hard drive, and replacing the RAM. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take the battery out first. Yeah, just show you the front and back of that. Okay. There's eight total screws to the back of this plate here. Three of them are 13.8 millimeter Phillips heads. One is 5.3 millimeters, and the other four are 4.35 millimeters. Okay, so I'm just gonna fast forward through the unscrewing of this, because I'm sure we don't wanna sit here through real time and see it. Okay, and as you can see in the corner there, I'm just using a plate to kinda keep the screws organized so I don't lose them or anything. Okay. Now we just want to carefully take the back plate off. Okay. All right, so as you can see there in the middle, in the green, that's the old RAM. So we'll go ahead and pop them out. Okay, and they were just stacked one on top of the other there. I had pre-cut the uh, packaging so that I could just take the RAM right out. Okay, so I'm going to put this new RAM chip in at a 45 degree angle into the bottom slot. Make sure it's flush so that the pins are all the way in. Okay, and then just push down and it'll snap right into place. And then you're just going to put your second chip in just above that. Same thing, 45 degree angle, flush so that you don't see the pins and then push down lock into place okay so now we got that done and that was real easy go ahead and put this back plate back on make sure you know you do it carefully and make sure it's centered Okay, and then we'll just fast forward through screwing the plate back on again because don't need to see this in real time either. Now when you screw these screws back in, you know, they don't have to be super tight. Just, you know, as soon as you start feeling it tighten, go ahead and release. Okay, go ahead and put the battery back in. Just drops right back into place. Okay, go ahead and put the battery plate back on. Okay, now I'm just going to wipe down, get my fingerprints off of here. making sure everything's flush again. Alright, let's flip this around, turn it on. Now, if you turn it on and you hear a series of beeps, then you've probably installed the RAM in wrong, probably not flush like it should be, all pushed all the way in. So if that happens, just take it back apart, redo the steps, make sure you put it back in again. But if you do it right, then when you turn it on, you should hear the Mac boot up like it normally would, and then you know you're good to go. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.